sharing the screen, the usual, same old, same old. We will uh, time it, and for the next five minutes, um, you can write what went well for you this sprint. If you don't have the link to the middle board, uh, just share it here or in the stewards. Both works. So whoever wants to put music for the next five minutes, the time start now. Hello, Gideon. We just started. So um, the link to the board, it's on the store shot. And whenever you want, you can jump into it. OK, thanks. Hello, Septi. Um, we are currently working on the board, so feel free to jump whenever you want. Thanks, Edu. Sorry, got distracted with the time.
20 seconds left. All right, time is up. Um, how about you, Gideon? Would you like to read for us and comment on what went well or pass it on to someone after you read to comment on it? Uh, sure. Um, let's see. So we've created more clarity about the sample, about the future of the sample working group. Um, wait, hold on, sorry. This, I've got something blocking me here. Um, we, we are having an, in, an inflow of newcomers again, motivated new members of Communitas, specific shout outs to Irem, Bear, and NT for stepping up consistently. New generation of engaged contributors, leaders is emerging, Bear, NT, Risha, Irem. Two great tokenomics ideas were just shared today on the general chat. Gideon is becoming a pillar for this community, has been. Ah, shucks. Thank you, whoever said that. Uh, Acid Laser uh, is really evaluating how the future of columns is going to work. Nate published the Treasury policy. Token Gate is up in test mode still. New folks joining with energy. We are understanding a little bit better the problems in the TEC. Seems like we are accepting, agreeing that slower is good. Zep leading the stewards council content curation service is super exciting uh, people are taking time to rest lots of content in the forum i wish there was more time to read found this old vision board to bring us clarity tam putting a lot of focus on reshaping stewardship in the tc uh, a new pace is providing new opportunities for reflection graviton training over list of gravitons tba UNAM is getting great at, com at learning community building gravitons. Talking about burnout with the stewards, great activity led by Zepti. Love the proposal of the 12th Rune Group. Nice to see people taking some time off. Acid Laser rocks. Chewy and Calms are very well supported with him taking time off. Slowly making progress on the Gravity website narrative. Loving the 12th Rune Group name. Sounds like a mystical Lancelot medieval gang. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, closing things before going on vacation. Gravity project in Giveth and new proposal for Aragon. Having some time off screen. Giveth proposal on BitDAO. Omega yesterday had a very interesting presentation about fractals. And um, um, yeah, my reflection is, yeah, this, this is kind of this interesting mix of like slowing down and speeding up. Um, and, uh, it seems like in some cases that's good. The slowing down is helping people, um, to reflect and the speeding up is also really good because it's like, we really need to right now. So, um, yeah, I will pass to, um, uh, Zepti. Thanks, Gideon. Yeah, for me, like the good thing is like things seems to be closing in the right way, like the Aragon thing and then... Mateo started to work on the ABC advanced page, like, yeah, and the audit is going well. Like, I feel like things are getting ready to get done before leaving, so I'm super happy for that. Uh, yeah, I'll pass it to Juan. Thanks, Septi. Um, well, in Gravity, things have been going good. Um, We've finalized the third Graviton training, and I am looking for the POAP list and crossing the information to see who uh, actually participated in at least six of the sessions. And yeah, I am also happy um, that um, the Giveth um, team supported us uh, making a project for Gravity, so we accept now donat donations in Giveth. And we also have a new proposal with Aragon for until November. And um, I am also happy that Giveth has a proposal on BitDAO. That's amazing because that's a community I, I knew about some, some time ago. And it's good to see um, some DAO-to-DAO DAO collaborations. And um, yeah, 
I also like that I am taking some time off the screen, and that's that's really good. I will pass it to Libby. Thank you, Wonka. Yeah, I've been feeling the slowing down, not in a like slowing down way, but more into a focusing way. Maybe slowing down is not the right word. Um, and I think that's really good, like aligning the focus of multiple working groups into maybe looking more into a shared direction and then reviving the TC narrative and looking into like, wait, what, where are we actually going? What do we need to be doing? How can we gather forces, energy, not waste energy and, and understand what are the, the places that would be optimal for everyone? So I'm glad with these conversations and I'll pass to Nate. Thanks, Libby. Yeah, I think that uh, the pace that we're going at right now is really interesting because um, I, I do feel like we individuals are feeling less overwhelmed than they were before, uh, trying to keep up with everything that's going on, trying to be part of the conversation, trying to help monitor or contribute where they can to where they have you know a couple of issues in front of them that they're working with and they're working on and they're really putting focus into it. And I think it's really a really interesting dynamic that I'm glad we had the chance to evaluate and kind of test out. Um, I think the newcomers and uh, that have been contributing and stepping up and new leadership, is, like in terms of just having agency over what's going on has been really encouraging. Uh, there are a lot of new people that are really just really excited about, you know, helping get the TEC where, where it needs to be. And so uh, that's really, uh, really, really positive. Um, yeah, and I'll pass it over to you too, Tim. I was just thinking how great it is that we moved the community call to biweekly. I think that the the um, intentional slowing down pace over the summer and also the unintentional pace of the summer, which just slows down, uh, feels positive, actually. So, And um, yeah, I think that the other thing that I'm really excited about, even though maybe one of the things we could do better is having the time to read a lot of this documentation is I love seeing the 12th rune pr proposal up on the forum and uh, I look forward to really digging into it more. I'll pass back to you, Edu. I'm not sure who hasn't gone yet. Sure. Um, I just want to welcome um, Dulgaras to the conversation. Um, the link to the middle board is Good morning. The link to the middle board, it's on the chat at the right. So if you feel like jumping in or if you want to comment something um, now, please do. No, I mean, you know, this for me has uh, also been a, a good period of time. I did 40K bike ride this morning. I'm just taking time for myself um, a lot more lately and prioritizing myself a lot more. And I can feel it in my life. And, my attitude and everything. So, yeah, I don't know that I'm going to stop um, doing that anytime soon. So, hopefully, I can keep that up. So, I'm glad to see we're all uh, kind of in alignment in that way. Thank you, Dugaras. And Costa, would you like to round it up? Yeah. Uh, I'm really happy that we're getting a lot of newcomers again for a few weeks, uh, a few weeks ago. We had quite empty orientation calls, and even one or two of them were like, no one came. And the last ones we've done we've, have been quite crowded, and some of the new members are like really interested and really stepping up to do some work with us. And that is uh, energizing. <laughs> That's all. Back to you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I feel like um, the, what I really, what I really enjoy from the newcomers joining um i feel is this sort of energy and and sort of fresh like a fresh air that they that they bring like um with the ramming particularly it it feels like that uh, in the sense of uh the, you know the fresh eyes with who with how she approaches the things and um this initiative and i don't know i feel this i that sort of make more obvious to me the need of this constant sense of renovation um or or pause and then reactivation i don't know what rhythm would be better but um i like this idea of having people plug in start plug in into the dc in a good way and bringing this 
new approaches, energies, vibes, whatever you want to call it, to the organization. I, f- I think that's really healthy. Uh, with that being said, I think everyone went. So we can go to the next part, which is could do better. Again, um, four minutes, and then let's start now. Time's up. All right, Livy, would you like to read for us? Yes. Um, working out loud. <laughs> what does this mean? Uh, we need to really celebrate and promote our accomplishments more frequently. I mean, there's a lot to be proud of. 
There's a lot of unaddressed stuff in the forum. We need to have better alignment with the working groups. More focus on removing complexity and increasing accessibility. Scope down our sprint planning and learn to swarm around important, in, important initiatives. It feels like we went a little far off our mission and vision. I continue to think we need to migrate from doing to being and ethically howing. I have a long list of documents to read. The list keeps growing. I feel you. Need to question all work that doesn't add real value to TC users. Feels weird, Nick leaving suddenly and not knowing the reason. Maybe it's private. TC doesn't have a professional tone in social media. Nothing against the memes, but how could we bring a little more academic, uh, the academic side? Anyway, to make voting and proposals have less friction, more clarity on how we adapt to current organizational changes underway. Can we afford paying compensations to folks on holidays? Forum still feels empty on feedback. Shall we move the debate into Discord? Lightening the load on regular meetings could go even further, plus one. Lots of backdoor chats happening. Maybe it's because the forum doesn't have the best engagement. Talk about DevCon. You are all welcome and invited. I still didn't read the policy proposal and I really want to. Thank you, Levy. Um, Kirill, would you like to start? Kirill, do you hear me? There yes. You Sorry, I was. I get lost in the document and I got to go back to the Discord. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think um, one, of, one of the ones, so I'll, I'll call out two. Um, I think it's great, like the, the, the release that people are feeling in terms of like having more, more time uh, is I think that we are still doing too many meetings, too many regular meetings. Um, and that we could like, we could lighten it even further. Um, and like go into each meeting with more prep, uh, but fewer meetings, and we would all feel so much better. Um, and then the other one I put in there is, uh, and this is a little bit abstract, but like I think uh, we really every single thing that we need to, that we do now should be really focused on creating value, measurable, valuable things that bring utility for the stakeholders, like the users of this commons, not not us builders, not the, the folks who are building it, but like really the people we want to attract to this commons, people who are token engineering experts, and just like really be ruthless about like, is what we're doing right now adding value to those people? And if not, let's stop. That's my sense. Um, so I will pass to Juanca. Um, I was the one that wrote that of working out loud, and I think it's something that we can do better. And he said, everything that we are doing needs to be shared um, for the other people to recognize the value. I really think that uh, what we have in the TC is really valuable, and that we're each... Um, and with time growing um, the attention of people, um, but we still need to work out loud and and um, if you're working on something, say it and and don't be shy about it because it's the only way um, to for to get eyes when there's so many things happening. And also, uh, well, I, I, I forgot to mention it some weeks ago, but um, the the tickets for devcon are already available the um we have um a forum they have a forum where where um we can submit proposals and even for having physical spaces i think the token engineering academy will have um a, one of those physical spaces and we are also trying to have one of those physical spaces for the eighth colombia community but it would be good to organize something from the tc um yeah it's it's a forum and we can participate we can make a proposal it's interesting and also for the individual members to um start thinking on tickets and stuff like that if everyone wants to come everyone is welcome and yeah i will pass it to tam 
Um, you know, there's a lot of things that jump out at me. The first one is paying compensation to folks on holiday. I mean, I guess I want to um, voice my strong disagreement with that. I think people should take holidays and that should be part of a regular compensation if it is a role-based compensation and not an hourly-based compensation. Um, and I like the idea of um, lighting the load on regular meetings. To be honest, having moved the stewards and the community call to bi-weekly, it just feels like there's now so much more time to actually do the work that then we share in the calls or, or can share with the community. So I also really like this idea of um, re-evaluating how we coordinate, especially with respect to um, time live in a call together and optimizing for working time as well as uh, collaboration time. I'll pass back to you, Eddie. Thank you. How about you, Nate? Yeah, so um, a couple of things that I really want to focus on doing better is uh, I, I really like the whole celebrate and promote the accomplishments we have um, done more frequently just because it kind of gives us a better uh, look into to what types of things we can be doing in the future as well. I mean, gravity is really awesome. Like you guys have had your third Graviton session, we've put conflict management and nonviolent communication on the map for DAOs. Um, you know, the, the the way we've set up the stewardship, the way we've done uh, a lot of things in the TEC should be celebrated and, and looked at uh, what works and what hadn't worked. Um, but that being said, I think we are going through a lot of uh, changes right now. Um, uh, there are a lot of changes, people coming, people going, and ideas of how to alter the way we operate on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that uh, having more conversations around how we do this um, can really get, get everybody on the same page and moving forward. Um, right now, I don't, I don't think we're having uh, as many conversations as we should around that topic. Um, and I will pass it over to Livy. Thanks, Nate. Yeah, I... I think this week was is strong for me is the impression that we derailed a little bit from our mission and vision. I was looking at the board I shared that in there in the comments on Safgrav yesterday and uh, just what what was the vision for what the TC would fund in the very beginning. Um, it seems like we are somehow far from that now, and and I think there was a lot of like energy being dispersed into how working groups were functioning. But that's just something, I mean, it's not, it's not even a full criticism because it's the type of thing we couldn't know until it happened. And now we're like absorbing the learnings. And I think there's this process of integrating a lot of this that feels challenging, uh, but uh, exciting also and how we're starting to shape to collaborate a little more closely and tightly with sweaty feels. And I'll pass to Durga Das. Um if Durga Das, I will pass it back to you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the kitchen. So I didn't think I'd be called so quick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not as, uh, you know, tuned in as, as it could be. But, you know, it's, um, you know, it, it feels to me like, uh, yeah, we, we've learned some hard lessons uh, during the bear market, right? So it's, it, you know, this is uh, how do we do stuff, uh, you know, in many ways, if you're saying you're going to fund, you know, token engineering, then, um, you, you have to have a big fund. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's tough, uh, during, you know, bear markets to, to get people interested, but it feels like somehow, uh, you know, with a little bit of uptick, uh, you know, some renewed interest is there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm much more focused on, uh, gravity, uh, at the moment. So, 
you know, for me, TEC is, you know, um, great as a first thing for the commons, but, you know, the second thing I think for me is, is uh, gravity. So I'm, I'm a little more focused on that side of it than I am on the TEC side. I just like to, you know, to hear you guys and, and get, you know, tuned in and, and, uh, you know, remain in this uh, commons idea. So, you know, whatever it is that uh, we're doing, you know, we always seem to come back to the commons and that's, uh, the reason why I think this is such a great community. So I'm happy to, you know, continue participating in whatever way I can, uh, even at this uh, reduced uh, rate. So thank you. Thank you, Dilgaras. How about you, Septi? Uh, thanks, Edu. Yeah, I really want to read the policy proposal. I didn't have time, but and without reading it, I'm, you know, I'm pretty against it. Uh, like, you know, the first reaction, like, you know, like we have the laser tag, like we, why should we have a new multisig to have our treasury and with people like with lower skin in the game? I didn't read the proposal, but that's one thing like, like, wow, I need to read this. Uh, then, yeah, I'm also like with, with Tom, like I feel like I'm going to pay myself for vacation and I feel like everyone should do the same. Like we put so much work into this and I don't, and you know, like the market is, the, it is what it is, but I feel like, you know, when people is working, like they should get what they deserve. Uh, otherwise we are creating something I don't think it's worth creating, right? Um, and yeah, uh, back to you, Edo. Thank you, Septi. Um, how about you, Costa? You're the last one, I think. Mm, I would only say that maybe the forums, it seems a bit disconnected from the Discord because mostly everything happens in Discord. And as there is a Twitter feed channel on Discord, maybe we could like do a forum channel on Discord. So people like once they're, as they're already in Discord, they would see what's new on the forum and then they will, that will maybe increase the participation. Uh, only that from my side. Back to you. Thank you. Um, I will say that I, I feel this sometimes in general sense, um, this sort of resistance to change in certain processes or maybe not a resistance, but this, um, this sort of in certain things we do not keep tabs on. So we just get used to doing the things in the same way over and over, which is normal in the organization that you find a rhythm, you want to stay on the rhythm. And the forum, for example, is just an example of that. Like we, I feel like it's not working. We have tried a variety of things um, and it's just for some reason not clicking with the community. Um, I feel that I suggest the change to Discord, not the change in the sense of we're not gonna use the forum, but I feel that for advice process, we should use more Discord since people it's more here. And the forum, it's just putting the final proposal or, or I still putting advice process, but I don't think just putting on the on, on the forum it's helpful um i think it will improve the conversations to just have a focus channel for proposals on discord and just um you know tag everyone or tag contributors or tag whoever it is um every time there is a new proposal for advice process so people can feel free to leave a small comment because sometimes the forum's intimidating in the sense that you see these huge documents and huge posts and you're like but i don't know if i'm the one who can answer this so um, I think we can ease that on that and, and also have ourselves checking on some practices like the same goes with the community call. Like it took us a long time to sort of change our rhythm and so on. So I feel we should be more flexible with the practices that we have here and adapt faster if that's the case or if that is needed. Um, all right. Does anyone before we pass on to the last part, does anyone have any other comment that um, want to do to whoever said something? Five. Or do you get us? Oh no! I, sorry, I have to mute you differently if I'm walking around doing stuff. So I have to do no it on my headset level. All right. Um, with that being said, we put the timer again, and we continue to the next and last part. Actions to improve. Time's up.
Time is up. All right. Um, Nate, would you like to read for us? Yeah, sure. So reward people using the forum more, create better distribution and awareness of forum topics, discuss whether we should revisit and update our MVV with new new set of members, focus on legitimacy and validation. If we were going to pay if we are going to pay for vacations, we should have a policy so that it was done fairly. From a comms perspective, how could the TEC have more legitimacy? Break down the long term goals for for the commons. What do we want to look like in one year? We should tell the community more often when there is a rhythm change. Reassess our calendar of recurring meetings. Coordinate cross working group goals around value creation. Have a plan to pair with TE Fundamentals launch. Encourage one TE proposal to conviction voting every two months. All working groups collaborating with one goal at a time, plus one. Update TEC narrative, not MVV. Um, create a TEC roadmap and coordinate the working groups to work around, not their own needs, if that makes sense. Do a checking of our daily practices in the TEC to see if they're still working for us. And you right. start off. Yeah, if you if you can, go ahead. Yeah. Um. So there are a couple of things that really um, point out to me. It was you know, kind of um, on the calendar and the rhythm stuff. Like this is um, this is one thing that I just you know I listened to the Green Pill podcast and they had the Gitcoin governance episode where they talked about seasons and I think Livy and I had discussed. Uh, kind of this kind of uh, rhythm and tradition when it comes to voting as well. Um, and having these types of, uh, I don't know, practices where we, we, we have, you know, these these voting blocks where we, we vote on things one at a time and kind of getting better at swarming the community around what we're doing. So if there's, you know, four proposals, we post those four proposals at one time and just try to get all those active tokens voting. I think that would be... Uh, hugely beneficial and then just you know uh, uh updating kind of uh the you know and as a new member and learning that uh, whether it's through the mvv can give you a kind of outlook whether it's a narrative underlying that you know i think that is really important to evaluate and kind of give ownership to, to new members. Uh, so those are my big things. And I will pass it before, over. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Nate. Before you pass it on, everyone pick two stars. And the usual, pick the ones that you feel um, you want to see work done. Now, Tam, you want to go next? Yeah, I really like that idea of seasons and grouping together voting. Um, as well, I really think about um, just we've outgrown Scrum, you know, there we can't do it with 12 or 15 or, or more um, um, group leads. So you know, it's something that I'm thinking about a lot. And I, I think that, you know, in the, in the September timeframe coming back, uh, or at least when, when the um, summer slowdown will have passed, I think coming back strong with some new rhythms is really important for us too. Um, and I like this idea of revisiting and update our MVV, actually. I do like that idea. Uh, that also appeals to me. It's not something that I had thought about before, but when I read it, I thought it made a lot of sense. And I'll pass to uh, Costa. Thank you, Tom. Uh, as, as I said before, I think uh, there is something lacking in the way of getting people engaged with the forum and what's going on and the proposals, but uh, I don't really know how we could improve that because like, maybe rewarding would work, but in what way would you reward people for participated in the for in the forum i think it would, it's a problem of uh, engaging them like not rewarding them 
And is it really uh, like I don't read the forum because I get rewarded for it or participate in it because I get rewarded for it? It's because I'm engaged in the community. So I don't I don't really know how to improve that. <laughs> uh, that's it. And I'll pass it to Septi. Thanks, Costa. Yeah, for me, like rewarding in the forum doesn't have to be like a monetary reward. Like you know, some recognition, like for folks engaging in the forum. I think that's that's cool. Uh, one thing I really want to push, and if someone else like do it before, then I start because it's you know it's better. Like that's an idea that I think was Nate or Levy probably I, one of them in the last. So our council of having like, you know, uh, like coordinating better like the working groups, uh, like for example, like transparency could be working on the audit, but maybe that, like that's not what the TC needs right now. Maybe like this, the TC needs uh, transparency be working on something else and have better coordination there. Uh, I have like arguments against and I'm in favor of that, uh, but I think it be beneficial for us right now. Because when I see like, you know, like I really like this autonomous way we are pursuing, like when people is just doing what they think it's needed. But at the same time, when you see like how the budget is spread around the the community, sometimes like it feels like, at least to me, like it feels like we are misusing money budget. So yeah, maybe some coordination would help. Uh, but yeah, I'll pass it to uh, Turgada. So yeah, in terms of engagement, um, you know, we're we're we're, we're when we're doing Gravity's uh, website, we're basically just having absolutely everything apart from whatever we choose to do for uh, chat and, and uh, audio, video uh, things in in one place. So everything is in the website. There, you don't have to go to all these different places and mirror boards and all this, stuff, you know, everything is going to be in the one sort of uh, shell. So <clears throat> I feel like that's a way we could solve some of the forum uh, related um, engagement issues. If we, if we just put everything in, in one spot and then it would, uh, that would make it easier. Um, so, you know, we're putting our money where our mouth is in terms of that. So, um, you know, we'll see how it plays out. <laughs> But uh, that's that's my recommendation for some of the folks uh, who were talking about, you know, problems with forum engagement, and th it's also problems with voting, problems with proposals, pro you know, just all of this stuff. Uh, you know, you could you could fix if if you had sort of one place to go, or you had a dashboard like, hey, you need to vote on this. You log into the website, and you can see all the stuff that's kind of pending for you. Um, so that's uh, a conceit that we're working on. Uh, on the gravity side of things. Um, so thanks. How about you, Libby? Thanks, Adu. Yeah, for me, the all working groups collaborating with one goal at a time has been resonating a lot. I think it was the biggest takeaway from like discussions I had in the, in the conferences that it's really important to simplify the most we can. And I think it would be so powerful if we directed our attention and resources to uh, one thing at a time and feel like we're actually collaborating and then we're not so distracted by what each group is doing individually and we can keep track of things a little bit more, especially in those moments that is sensitive. You know, I think what you were saying is that, that it feels great that people are doing uh, what they want to do and I feel the same. But I feel like for us to get there, there's still like some pavement we need to build, you know, to like, yeah, I really like that you brought that up, Nate, of the rhythms and uh, maybe we can help this flow in, in a certain direction that is like still fluid and ongoing, but uh, that serves our common purpose. And just really quick, I wanted to comment that I don't, feel like it's the right time to touch on the MVV. I feel like that would shake a lot our illegitimacy that I don't think is like in the best moment already. So maybe we wait some time to get like stronger in the ground that we're building to think about that and, and work towards building more illegitimacy meanwhile. So how could we build better narratives, turn our style a little bit more into academic 
you know, to reach a, a wider audience that it's interesting for us. Um, and I'll pass to Nate. Did you, no, did, is there anyone missing? Sorry, Edu, pass back to you. Sure, thank you. Juanca is missing. Would you like to go, Juanca? Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I think that uh, working on a on 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 something that gathers the attention of all the working groups is a really cool idea. I think that um, when we were hatching and on the common subgrade, we had like all the working groups lined up, and I feel and I agree that the working groups. Um, now are are um like more autonomous but at the same time um we could be more um in sync so so i i i like that though that idea and um yeah not not an action to improve but in three hours uh bianca will be launching the survey that we've been do, um designing um for mental health in in the aragon discord server and um it's always good if we have some some presence um from the tc supporting us so all of you are invited um it's it will be in three hours and i think also aloysius will be talking about burnout so um yeah just talking about that i don't know if i was the last one i think you were um so we have a sort of a clear winner here on all working groups collaborating with one goal at a time. Um, I don't know, Tam, how we will follow this up, but <laughs> this is the winner for this week, retrospective. Well, we could definitely talk about it in the sprint planning on Monday. All right. Um, does anyone uh, have? Tomorrow. Go ahead, sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, no, it's not tomorrow. It's Monday. Wait. I don't see the spring planning on the calendar anymore. Yeah, we should add it. Normally, some Friday after the same week, we have the retrospectives. Yeah. But it's not there for tomorrow. So it probably should be tomorrow. Was it at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. CEST? 6 p.m. CEST. 6 to 8. Yeah, I don't, um, I'll add it back. See you guys there. All right. Um, does anyone else have any other comment before we leave to close it up? Five, four, three, two. I, I just want to say that uh, the calendar thing is something we should prioritize like as soon as possible. So making sure that all of the updated calls are in there and accurate. All right. Anything else? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone. Um, I will see you tomorrow, I guess. Um, take Have a nice Thursday. Thanks, Edu. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Edu. See everyone. See you later.